I'm Harvard-trained Dr. Sharona Dayan, and today we have the most advanced toothbrushes, we have the best oral hygiene aids, and Americans are seeing dentists for professional cleanings more than ever before. So why is gum disease still the number one leading cause of tooth loss in America? And why are we seeing so many cases of infected dental implants? Well, there are several reasons, but what I want to talk to you about today is uh, the vitamin D deficiency that we're seeing in about 75% of Americans that is also contributing to gum disease and bone loss around teeth and dental implants. Did you know that vitamin D was first discovered as a bone hormone. We didn't know about all of the hundreds of other organs and body functions that it can affect. We have vitamin D receptors all over our jawbone and the, the bone that supports the teeth, all over our teeth. So our mouths need vitamin D to be healthy. So in my office, when patients come to me for uh, laser treatment for gum disease, one of the things that I look at are their blood levels of vitamin D3 to make sure that they're going to have the very best possible results and to help my patients keep their own teeth or if they already have dental implants to keep the dental implants in the best shape possible. Thank you so much for listening.